Hi everybody. I am a little late this week. Um, this I haven't done anything for Monday or Tuesday and then I'm going to be out on Wednesday. So I'm going to kind of go through these quickly so that I can get them all posted. Um, if you were in class, this should just be review for you and you really don't need to watch unless there was something you just didn't understand and you were afraid to ask about. Um, so if I go too fast, make sure you pause the video and watch what you need because I'm going to go kind of at a quick pace because I have a lot of videos to make and I still have to cook dinner for my family. So I will get on with it. So yesterday in class, um, you were supposed to, um, I had the link for like all the pages for this unit that, uh, but I only printed out pages four through six of that packet, which was 294, 95, and 96. Um, and we are multiplying two digit by two digit on all of the problems for the pest for the next couple of days. So the ones that are circled or the ones, the ones that are circled in pencil rather, or the ones we did in class. So in class on Monday, um, we started here with the principal purchases 68 e-readers for $79 each. How much does the principal pay for the e-readers? Um, each one cost $79 and they bought 68 of them. And then we just multiplied that out. Eight times nine is 72, put down my two, carried my seven. Eight times seven is 56 plus seven, I did it over here, 63. Put down my three and carry my six. Oh, no, not carry it, I brought it down, sorry. And then um, hopefully the only mistake I make. And put down my zero, cross this out because I'm getting ready to multiply by my tens place, cross this out because it was with my ones place. So six times nine is 54, put down my four and carry my five. Six times seven is 42 plus five is 47. Added them together, two plus zero is two, four, three plus four is seven, and six plus seven is 13, put down my three, carry my one, one plus four is five. So the answer was, for the e-readers, it would cost $5,372, $5,372. So we were excited that the answer was there because we know sometimes working with Mrs. Long, the answers aren't there. Um, so number nine, team. A toy company makes wooden blocks. A carton holds 85 blocks. And how many blocks can 19 cartons hold? So 19 cartons with 85 in each carton. Um, we just multiplied them. Five times nine was 45. Put down my five and carry my four. Then I'm multiplying by 10. So I put down my zero and crossed out my, everything to do with the ones place. And then eight times nine is 72. Put down my two, carry my seven. Eight times one is eight plus seven is 15. Added them together. Five plus zero is five. Nine plus two is 11. Put down my one, carry my one. One plus five is six. And then nothing plus one is one. So 1,615 wooden blocks is how many they can hold in the 19 cartons, okay? So um, I'm just gonna tell you right now that um, that was pretty easy so far. And then on this page, um, it started out having us do estimates and then we did our estimates and then we worked the problem and our estimates really weren't that close. So um, I don't know that it really helped us on trusting our answers very well. I even checked the calculate with the calculator on um, the two that we did estimates on. So don't worry about the estimates. Um, trust yourself. Um, the estimates didn't help us on that. So um, this is long rights big, so it's all squishy, but I'll talk you through it. Um, the problem was 74 times 46. Six times four is 24. Put down my four, carry my two. Six times seven is 42 plus two is 44. Then I'm multiplying by the tens place, so I put my zero for the tens, cross out everything that I used for my ones place, and now I'm gonna multiply my tens place. Four times four is 16, put down my six, carry my one. Four times seven is 28 plus one is 29. Add them together, four plus zero is four. Four plus six is 10, put down my zero, carry my one. One plus four is five plus nine is 14, put down my four, carry my one. One plus two is three. So we got 3,404 as our answer. That's your homework. And then on question number three, um, 65 times 25, 
Five times five was 25, put down my five and carry my two. Five times six is 30, plus two is 32. Put down my zero, because I'm multiplying by the tens place. Cross everything that has to do with my ones place out. Five times two is 10. Put down my zero, carry my one. Two times six is 12, plus one is 13. Add them up. Five plus zero is five. Two plus zero is two. Three plus three is six. Nothing plus one is one. So we got 1,625. Going over here. So, um, oh, I was like, that isn't right. I just write big. So I decided I was gonna write it out over here instead of being squishy, but that was homework anyway. So number five, I was squishy. So this was 83 times 18. Eight times three is 24. Put down my four, carry my two. Eight times eight is 64 plus two is 66. Multiplying by 10, so I put down my zero, cross out everything that has to do with the ones place, and multiply by the tens place. One times three is three, one times eight is eight. Add them up, four plus zero is four, six plus three is nine, six plus eight is 14, so my answer was 1,494. And that was all I did up at the top. You guys were supposed to do two, four, and six for homework. Then number seven, I was just gonna do seven and nine, and then we realized that it all ran together as one big problem. And I'm glad that we ended up doing it together in class because I hate problems like this. And I know you probably do too, where you have to write out the words of what you're thinking. I, I don't, just doesn't work that way in math, in my head. But anyway, we worked through it okay. Jill can make 14 origami boxes in an hour. Nathan can make 17 origami boxes in an hour. How many boxes can both of them make in 12 hours? So number seven, what do you need to know? How many boxes they made all together? That's the ultimate question. So going on to number eight, what numbers will I use? Well, first we're gonna multiply the 14 boxes an hour that um, she can make. Um, I mean, Jill can make 14 in an hour and he can make 17 in an hour. So we added up how many boxes the two of them could make in just one hour. We did it so we only had one extra step instead of two extra steps. So we added them together. Four plus seven was 11. Put down my one, carry my one. One plus one is two, plus one is three. So 31 in one hour, okay? But then they're asking how many can they both make in 12 hours? So we multiplied this number by 12. Okay, so then it says nine. Tell why you might why you might have to use more than one operation to solve the problem. So I just explained what we just did. First, we add up how many boxes they made in one hour. Then we multiply by twelve hours. Boom, boom. Solve the problem. We already did that part, so now we're going to do this part. Thirty-one times twelve. Two times one is two. Two times three is six. Put down my zero because I'm multiplying by my tens place, getting rid of everything that is remotely related to ones. And now I'm multiplying by my tens place. One times one is one, one times three is three. Add them together, two plus zero is two, six plus one is seven, nothing plus three is three. So both of those kids together can make 372 boxes in 12 hours. Pretty amazing stuff, okay? And then the last page y'all had to do um, with me yesterday, Monday, um, we did 11, 13, 15. So I'm gonna do like that. So bags of lemons weigh 33 pounds each. What's the total weight of 46 bags of lemon? That's 46 bags of 33 pounds each. That's a lot of lemons. So I'm gonna multiply six, three times six is 18, put down my eight, carry my one. Three times four is 12, plus one is 13. Cross out my tens place. I mean, excuse me, cross out my ones place. Cross out that thing that has to do with my ones place. Put my zero because I'm multiplying by my tens. So three times six is 18 again. Put down my eight, carry my one. Three times four is 12, plus one is 13 again. 138, 138, kind of fun. And then eight plus zero is eight. Three plus eight is 11. Put down my one, carry my one. One plus two is uh, one plus one is two, sorry. Plus three is five. Nothing plus one is one. So 1,518, and wouldn't you know, our answer is right there. 
So number 13, there are 19 players on a baseball team. Uniforms cost $74 each. How many uniforms, uh, how much will uniforms for the team cost? So 19 players each have to pay $74 for their uniform. We multiply that out. Four times nine is 36. Put down my six, carry my three. Four times one is four plus three is seven. Put down my zero, cross out my ones place and everything to do with my ones place. Multiply by my tens place. Seven times nine is 63. Put down my three, carry my six. Seven times one is seven plus six is 13. Add them together. Six plus zero is six. Seven plus three is 10. Put down my zero, carry my one. One plus three is four. Nothing plus one is one. So the team's gonna spend $1,406 for their uniforms. Glad my kids didn't play baseball. Number 15. Owners of a summer camp are buying new cots for the cabin. There are 16 cabins. Each cabin needs six cots. And then each cost, cot costs 70, excuse me, $92. How much will the new cots cost? So first way to find out how many cots they need per uh, period. How many cots do they need? They need 16 in six, uh, they need six cots in 16 cabins. It's a tongue twister. Multiply that out to find out how many cots they need. Six times six is 36, put down my six, carry my three. Six times one is six plus three is nine. So they need 96 cots. Each of the 96 cots costs $92. So then we just multiply it out. Two times six is 12, put down my two, carry my one. Two times nine is 18 plus one is 19. Put down my zero because I'm multiplying by the tens place. Cross out my ones place and everything to do with my ones place. Multiply by tens. Nine times six is 54. Put down my four, carry my five. Nine times nine is 81 plus five is 86. Add those together. Two plus zero is two. Nine plus four is 13. Put down my three, carry my one. One plus one is two. Two plus six is eight. Nothing plus eight is eight. So they're gonna need to spend $8,832 to get all those cots for the summer camp. Okay, so that takes us to the end of Monday's classwork. See you on the next video in about two minutes. Bye.